Very pre notification gang. Coming along great, Rip. Next, the resub poison. And the resub hectario. Sub DJ and Chris. Yep, yeah, the Nun 2's right around the corner. I'm hoping for a fun bad movie instead of just boring bad. Thanks for the resub. Maniac, Michael, and Starkiller. Of course, I'm going to play a new Spider-Man game. Play like every new big game that comes out. Thanks to the resub user, Julius Paul... Dex, Moon, Squessy, Gigi, Rosie are in the prime. Camilla. How was your basketball game? Good. They were good. A recommendation for a campy game like Destroy All Humans. They don't really make games like that anymore. You'd have to go back to the mid-2000s to find similar titles. Things you said, Binny, Tyrone, EA, Atua, Chill, and the Prime Valor. You're gonna be watching yeah, of course I'll watch the second part of Bleach. That was in your blood where part one was actually good. Things resub Aubriana, Bruce, Sugma, Millennium or Millennia and the bits Javon, the resub Coyote. Probably I mean I think the most recent Evil Dead film was fine. I don't know if it needs another. Things resub alcoholic. You see the kid that spent his family's life saving and game currency. Yep, that's happened a couple times. <clears throat> that's not that rare. No more Fortnite events? What do you mean? Has there been one recently? I haven't been keeping up. Things are resub. Two dimensional in stage mode. There's a video of him getting whooped by his parents circulating Reddit. Oh god, you're falling for lies. <laughs> the video you're talking about is the one that's at the uh, internet cafe, right? Where the father's like uh, punching the son, right? And everyone's just ignoring it. 
Yeah, that's... Oh my god, I got an eyelash in my eye. That's not the story behind that. That's That was just a uh, clickbait headline in order to get you to updo it. That's not what caused that. That video is actually from like three years ago. It had nothing to do with spending money on a, a, a microtransaction mobile game. Holy fuck. What do I got in my eye? Oh, shit. Thanks to Resub Goddess. This is not that fun. That's all done. Thanks to Resub Fellow and Snowboo. Thanks to Resub Weeb, R Dub, and the Prime Bolt, and Kia, and Resub Tiffy. You gonna play Pikmin 4 when it comes out? Yeah, we'll see. Okay, I got some of my eye and it's not coming out. Give me, give me two seconds. Exit Prime, Tucker, and the resub, Nap. And the resub, Suck. I just got back from watching the new Insidious. It was very bad. It, it was not good, if you can believe that. Yeah, all the reviews are pretty accurate. The movie's just not good at all, actually. But was it fun bad? Not really. It was just really not good. But I wouldn't even say it's boring either. It was just forgettable. Thanks, you resub Jester and the bits crabby. Yeah, of course they will, Krabby. So mid then. No, it definitely wasn't mid. Mid would mean that it wasn't bad. That would mean that it's average. It was bad. Make no mistake, the movie was bad. Thanks, Resub Star and Rionix. Hopefully, Javon. Yeah, this one, the, the new Insidious. It, it was bad. Thanks, Resub Monado. Tier 1 Victor. Nope, not fun, bad. I don't really dislike the Insidious franchise or anything, but this was the most phoned in one yet, and just a legitimately phoned in movie entirely. Like, it felt like all of the effort was in the first 30 minutes and then after that they're just like we need to we need to wrap this up <laughs> we're we're good here i 
Thanks to the Prime Nero. And there you said Tinkujo and Torso. I did see that one, buddy. That one's a classic. These are the bits Chris and the resub Flick and Dentorius. The last one before this was also shit. The one with the jailer, right? I actually can't remember a single thing about that other than it wasn't very good. This one was probably worse though. Unless unless I'm really misremembering how bad four was. Thanks to the resub. Nevik. Things in tier one go home. I'm going to get a moist meter for Oppenheimer. Yeah. I don't think I'll moist meter this, though. No real point. I have nothing to say about it other than it's just a forgettably trash horror film. And that's it. It doesn't even try. There's a resub Jacobs. Did you see the inside edition video of the burglar in a bunny disguise who robbed a laundromat? Nah, I'll check it out. Here's a tall tale from Illinois. Oh, Cops jeepers. In Quincy say someone broke into a laundromat Damn you, Peter after Rabbit. Hours and robbed the place wearing a bunny costume. It could be a sign that the suspect was out of clean clothes and had to wear an old Halloween costume to leave the house in decency. <laughs> Even investigators that is couldn't quite believe the theory. what they were watching on surveillance video of the incident. Writing on Facebook, file this one under, you can't make this stuff up. Well, did you find him? I don't think so, so at the end of the day, that's a dub. The, the disguise worked. The suspects spent just over a minute inside the business grabbing whatever they could get their paws on and then making a getaway. Now cops want the public's help in identifying and apprehending what they are calling a furry felon. If I can assure you that's going to be you tough. Can call the Quincy Police Department at 217-228-4470. For inside edition, I guess unless you recognize him from a Halloween costume party then maybe Thanks for resub life. And the resub oyster and Milo. Whew. Mark or Elon. For what, the fight? The fight's never coming. If it ever did, though, Zuckerberg would actually beat his ass. He is, like... Thoroughly trained in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and he's really, really good at it. Actually, he won a tournament like three months ago. Thanks, Risa Grandma. No, I can't say I saw that arrow. You see the video of the guy who robbed the nail salon and nobody gave a fuck. <laughs> no, I can't say I saw that robbery either. Who's your resub, Pody? The resub ZQT.
You see Britney Spears lying about Wimby, then retracting her suit after the footage leaked. I only briefly caught the cliff notes. What? So what was that all about? Voice crack. Wow, it was a huge voice crack. What was that all about? This headline's nuts. Britney Spears face slapped because she wanted pick with NBA's newest star? Is that what she was claiming that Victor slapped her? Britney Spears was backhanded across the face by a member of Victor Wibanyama's security team. New information provided by Deadline has shown that to be false. The pop star was struck in the face by her own hand after Wimbenyama's head of security swatted her hand away from the Spurs player's shoulder without looking. Wow. These are Isub, Nazi, Red, Nico, and Pody. <clears throat> so she hit herself. Yep. Yeah. Very interesting. I think it's a tier one Kyler and the Reese of Jake. You're going to play D.A. Dreadwolf. Don't know what that is. Of course, Victor. You're talking about Mr. Coffee. Or Mr. Caffeine. You hear what happened to NASCAR champion Jimmy Johnson? No, why did you give the title to him though? Just for like further context, you make it sound like it's a promotional piece. I'll look up what happened to Jimmy Johnson. Oh wow. Holy shit, yeah, that's horrifying his in-laws were found dead in an apparent murder-suicide Jesus Christ the way you said that made it sound like it was going to be silly that's not silly at all there's three some sweet boogie and millennial Yeah, that's terrible. You see the new EDP apology. Nah. I haven't seen much from him in a while. He just keeps coming back... Like, at least once every, what, month or two? Who cares anymore? I'm not keeping up with it. How he's not in jail is a mystery. And a miracle for him, I guess. Thanks, Reseb Inzo and the Bits Jamic.
Yeah, I'm almost done with Innie's lobby. It's good. Innie's lobby is good. The resub range in Georgia and Blunt. No, I still haven't watched Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 1 yet, but I will. I'm very excited to, just haven't had the chance yet. Pregnant fan goes into labor at a Taylor Swift concert in Ohio. Didn't hear about that, but I saw that tweet going around about how Britney Spears is a better dancer than Michael Jackson, and they show the clip of her acting like a fucking animatronic on stage, and everyone was dunking on that. <clears throat> That's from a bait account? Yeah, I had a feeling it had to be bait. But that's like the only Taylor Swift thing I've seen today was that. Mortal Kombat 1's looking very cool. What did I say? Did I not say Taylor Swift? Who did I say? Because it wasn't a statement about the fan going into labor during Taylor Swift. You said Britney? Oh. Must have got distracted by the on-screen thing. Because I was talking about the guy that mentioned the Taylor Swift fan in labor. Did you watch the new Friendly Geordies video? Not yet. Not yet. You still watching Goofy Films? Of course, man, I'm always watching Goofy Films. Thanks for resub MCR and give sub Thurston and resub Pancake. Happy birthday, Trout. Oh, it's on Adam22 getting cucked. We already talked about that on stream. We already went over that whole thing. I will say he's... He's going even harder on it than when we talked about it two days ago. It's I, I, I don't understand the strategy. I, I don't I don't know what the plan is with all of that, but it's it's fucking out of control. Things are some sinister and purple. You gonna play Yakuza Infinite when it, Infinite Wealth when it releases? Is that the one with um, Kiryu naked on the beach? I think it was Kiryu, right? Wasn't it in the trailer? Let me double check now. 
might be having a false memory, I think it was. Oh no, it wasn't Kiryu. And it's that's also not the right one. Yeah, it was Ichiban. Things are suggested Tetsukabra and Razia. Things are tier one tacky. That sounds horrible, Scoots. Jesus. Thanks for the resub, Josh. And Sheen. What's your take on the cocaine found in the White House? I can't believe that's still a talking point. That has to be the most, like, common substance you'll find at the White House, even without Hunter Biden. There's no doubt in my mind cocaine's in there more than there's, like, soil in the plants. But I will say, I did like the follow-up headline of, We may never know whose, co whose cocaine it was. Authorities are still looking for the culprit. We may never positively ID whose coke it was. And I think that's fucking hilarious. It's a, it's such a fucking mystery. These are tier one frozen in the prime R wing. You see that the mountain, the mountains were red in Utah. It sounds pretty. Or was it because of fires? Because that wouldn't be very cool. It wasn't fire. Well, then that's very cool. Things are the gifts of random. Today's. Oh, I wanted to bring that up, yeah. Today, Baldur's Gate 3 launched this showcase, and there's something in interesting in there. I saw that. Uh, well, rather, I saw the clip on Ko's stream. There's a scene in Baldur's Gate 3 where these two guys are about to fuck, and then one of them transforms into a bear, and then they fuck. <laughs> it, it, was, it was a shocking twist. And there was even dick physics. They had wiener in it. They let the whole hog hang. They let it ride. Is the prime salty and there is some nuclear in Krieg? I've never heard of that game before, Krieg. Was he shaven, or did he have bear balls? So, well, so it was two guys. One of them, when he was transforming into a bear, the, it, it was wiener, but I don't think they had any, like, bear nuts. And then the other guy, like, fell over, and they even had ball physics. So his sack jiggled. But I think on the first guy, it was only shaft.
It was a wild scene. I'll tell you that much. And that's probably the hardest scene I've ever seen in a, in a video game. Not even Dante's Inferno had that kind of shit. Things they resub original Melis and Lenara. What game? Baldur's Gate 3. Is the resub mark? The resub Brucifer. The first two Baldur's Gate games are awesome. Yeah, so I've heard. I never got super into them, but I, I know that they're beloved. Thoughts on, all th thoughts on Alzheimer's new drug. Let me see. Just got granted full FDA approval, and it's widely accessible. Is it more effective than current drugs? Well, apparently it carries significant safety risks. Jesus Christ. Well, at least it steps steps in the right direction. This is apparently the first one that's ever been fully approved. Medicare is covering 80% of the $26,000 cost. <clears throat> Damn. Well, it's something, though. It's something. So it's for the very beginning of symptoms to slow the spread, and it has a 20%-ish chance to cause brain bleed or swelling. Yeah. Things are subsorbed. I mean, chatter, I'm sure, is exaggerating. But apparently it's not... Like, it's it's not super safe yet. At least from the first couple of paragraphs here. Thanks, resub. Stick and damp. Happy birthday, Sergeant, and the resub guppy. And the prime RJ. No, I mean, it does seem... Like, it does seem like it's probably worth the risk. Alzheimer's is a fucking terrifying thing. Is it a resub bull? Is 
And the resub Macy in the prime A. I haven't used threads, man. I heard that it's got like, oh god, what was it? It was a super high number, like 70 million users or some fucking outrageous claim. But yeah, yeah, 70 million. Jesus Christ. Probably a lie. But it is blowing up. Which I think is actually pretty fucking sad. Like how much people need a Twitter that even a half-baked rush job can get a sizable chunk of the market share in a day. Thanks for the bits, Tacky. Favorite foods, Italian. Have you seen the list of things that Threads scrapes from your phone? It's so long. Yeah, I did. One of them is literally just sensitive info. I saw. It is classified as sensitive info. Assuming that that's correct. That's the real screenshot. Things that give some fupa. same as all the other apps yeah thanks the five give subs JD the give sub random Isn't Meta notoriously worse, though? Facebook getting sued over and over. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Facebook, and by extension, Meta, its biggest moneymaker is just selling your data. They had a huge thing from... Um, who, who did the big expose like six years ago? Was it Cambridge? I can't remember. But they got in big, 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 big trouble. Is the resub airship? It was Cambridge. I exposed them. Hey, thanks, Lewis. <laughs> Good work. Thanks, the resub slash. Who's buying all this data and sifting through it all day? Oh my god, that was, that was such an innocent question. You think a human being combs that data? <laughs> that's, that's actually like so fucking cute. There's a prime ceiling. And thanks to the resub wagon. Doing well. When did the boys play tomorrow? I don't know what time we play yet. I asked Matt and he doesn't know yet either. Is it 3 p.m.? Is that confirmed? Because we were 3 p.m. yesterday. 
It's 2 p.m. I mean, regardless, I'm just going to get on a little early to be safe. Do you think the world was, as a whole, better in the old days than it is now? No. And I think it's very silly to think that. There's plenty of problems in the world today, but there's also significantly more problems that were in the world before today that are no longer a problem today. The reason why it seems like it's such a massive flood of problems all the time is just because of ease of access to information. You have to keep in mind the world's never been this connected before. And literally everyone in the world is a journalist because of what you have in your pocket every day with your phone. So you get to hear everything that's been happening throughout hundreds of years. Every day. Things the Prime Ocean, Nerissa Romaine and Souse, and Avery, and Off Chance, and the Bits Arrow. And the Resub Star. Sub Charles When's Halo season two coming out? <laughs> I don't know, man. I hope they just quietly cancel it. It, it was so fucking insulting watching that show. They did confirm it though, so it'd be hard. It'd be hard to cancel now. Any news on Godslap? Yeah, issue four will be three less than three weeks, I believe. Roughly three weeks for issue four. Things at Prime Apache. And the resub machine. You see the new Skyrim AI companion mod video? No, but I did see a different one. Not for Skyrim, but I saw an AI companion in a game. I forgot which game it was now. It was pretty cool. Plague Seeker animation was dope. Plan to do any more animations for your comics ever? Yeah, we do them all the time. The Godslap anime intro dropped last month. I want to do another Plague Seeker animation for issue one. Apparently Studio Trigger takes on commission work, so if I if one of these days I do hit the Powerball doing our good news show, definitely put it into a Studio Trigger collab for Plague Seeker animation. Oh, I did Dankin. The second I saw Omega Strikers do that Studio Trigger collab, I tried to get as much info as possible to see like if it'd be like feasible. The amount of money this costs for something like this is so far out of our realm, it's comical. <laughs> but, hey, 
we hit the Powerball one time, we're set. Thanks to the Prime Ringo. Is this you want a Plague Seeker out or is it pre-order? No, it's out. Well, I guess it depends on what you consider issue one. Because issue one, to me, is the 50-page one that's coming out end of the year. And what I dropped already is the issue zero, because it's more of like the table setter for the universe, as well as the journals. So, I, I know a lot of people are still calling it issue one, and that's fine. But for me, I'd say it's issue zero, which is what's out, and then issue one's end of the year. Trigger probably doesn't take commissions from Westerners. Yeah, they do. This is a commissioned piece. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? And Omega Strikers is Western developers. And they worked with CD Projekt Red for Edge Runners. Into the resub binny. Can you give us a cost ballpark? Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's assume I was to make something of close to equal rank, and I and I want to commission them. We're knocking on the door on seven figures. Like it's 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 pushing seven figures on like two minutes, pretty much. It's very expensive. That's top-level animation, and I told you guys that a long time ago. When I talked to Powerhouse Studios a while back, it was a little bit cheaper with Powerhouse, but not by much. Animation at, like, the highest level is just a very, 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 very expensive medium. Also, I just double-checked, not quite seven figures. If I was to go for, like, the two- to three-minute ballpark, it'd be very close, though. Thanks to two gift subs, Doey. And I'd love to do that, though, eventually, if I ever fall into that kind of money. Thanks to the bits... Enderman. Yeah, of course I'm going to watch Bleach uh, Thousand Year Blood War Part 2 tomorrow. Here's the resub Forza. That's what you'd sink your millions into? What, animations and shit? Absolutely. It's a medium I'm extremely passionate about with a community that I think deserves a large <laughs> investment into the craft. Animators are historically underpaid. And they deserve to get paid more. So absolutely, I'd sink millions into it. I fucking love animation. Always have. Better than just fucking hoarding it. Or spending it on nothing. So I put 
I pretty much put like all of my money into either content, moist esports, or animations. For example, the most recent Plague Seeker animation was it, it was it was not cheap. Wasn't quite six figures, but for about two minutes, still very expensive. And I love that. I love that shit. It doesn't turn a profit, not even close. But I think the work is incredible. Same with esports. That's the furthest thing from turning a profit. But I think the content is amazing. Yeah, I don't know why people keep talking about the EDP apology, brother. It's it, I, I legitimately couldn't care less. This is just his modus operandi. He comes back every now and then to like eat a cupcake, and that's it. And people lose their mind, like he's back. I've already fell for that bait like twice now. I, I'm I'm not doing it anymore. Did you look at the Suicide Squad anime? Yeah, it looked cool. The Joker design's a little wacky. I thought the whole mouth, like all the stitching and shit was his mouth, but it turns out that's just like face paint, which is kind of lame. But other than that, it looks cool. Tiny mouth broke it. Yeah, it just looks so stupid. Beyond Plague Seeker and Godslap, do you have any other ideas for animation? Yeah, there's another one we're cooking up as well. It's not a comic or anything, it's just a wholly standalone anime, which we're using a different studio for. So yeah, I'm constantly putting into projects like that. That one should be ready by the end of the year. That one's, that one's fucking unhinged. That one's actually just so fucking ridiculous. It's nothing like Plague Seeker or Godslap, or probably anything that you guys watch, really. Things the Prime Magics and the recent Hexed and the Loot. But it is it is an anime genre. Things with Tier 1 Foxy. You see the guy who bought 120k worth of CS cases and got less than 5k in return? Yeah, that was OniPixel. He fucking made a profit on that stream, though. He showed his uh, stream stats. He gained, like, 28k subs. I don't know how many bits or anything, but dude, like, actually turned a profit on that. That was Galaxy Brain. Why put that much money into something you're not going to take serious and just try to be unhinged? Brother, what the fuck are you talking about? How am I not taking it serious? Just because the concept is silly? That's the whole point of it. It's, it's just entertaining. When you break down most shows, the concepts are silly. Thanks to the Prime Frap. Unless you're just doing the most generic shit ever.
excited for Zom 100. Never heard of it. Is the reset delicious? The Prime, oof. Ah, the Artemis Project. Yeah, 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 we talked about that at some point. I remember that. Hope you're doing well, Jay. And the resub shrimp. And things, hey, hold on, quick text message. Okay. Thanks the prime excuse. Have you watched Mashoku Tensei? No, I've heard of it though. Has a game ever made you cry? Almost. A game called Before Your Eyes. This game was unreal. How powerful it was. <clears throat> Actually an incredible game. Things are some cord. Weren't you crying playing Gollum? Close. It was close. I'd still say Before Your Eyes is the closest I've come to crying in a game, though. That shit was so sad. But, like, really beautifully done. Have you played Dusk Falls? I don't think so. Please do a new speedrun challenge soon. We are. We were picking out the games on the stream the other night, coming up with a list of potential candidates. So we're just going over which one will be best. Mm. You'll be watching Evo this year? Yeah, of course I will. BattleBit's great. I think BattleBit is, like, actually hype. Yeah. It's fun.
Schiff set the new record in SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom with a 42-20. Jesus Christ. Last time I checked in, it was still... But it was probably like eight months ago, and it was like 50-something, I think. They had just got sub-hour. That game speedruns nuts. Oh, I missed the most important part. Oh, yeah, you got it just a week ago. Holy. Where's the big time saves now that they've come up with Fun feels like it's pretty the new, and new strats? 40 is stupid as fuck, but probably Thanks, possible. Thanks, Sam. There's so many new strats. Within the last eight months? Where, though? I want to see one. Isn't one of the glitches literally to just lick the disc because it messes up something? I don't know about that. Go for the sub 40. No, this game is actually ridiculously hard to speedrun. When Rehydrated came out, I tried to use some of the strategies from the OG run there. It's so hard. Go to about 30 minutes for a big one. Okay, let me see. I don't remember the optimal route from like eight months ago, if I'm being honest. So I, I probably wouldn't even recognize what would be new and what's old. This definitely seems new. He's skipping the entire tongue surfing section. Things are you so bearded. Wow. That was pretty nice. Congratulations, SpongeBob. You beat my best time. Here's a That was a cool glitch. <laughs> okay. Can you use that for for uh every sliding section? Because if so, that would make a lot of sense how they're able to sh shave off so much time. Thanks, Risa Bringo. Yeah, it looks like it. Thanks to the Risa Guesto and River. So that gets rid of the hand that puts you back on track when you go out of bounds. God, the movement's so crisp! Thanks to the bits, Akatsuki. The tech. No, this game's got legitimately amazing tech. It's such a high-level speed game. Thanks the resub, Jason. Have you heard the Krusty Crew Anthem? Mm -mm. Can't say I've seen that. I really like this new glitch. This is pretty fucking cool. Looks like you can just use it everywhere. And it's pretty easy. He's a prime master. One day I'll try and learn that. What do you consider the greatest speedrun ever? Well, obviously Super Mario 64. Thanks, Resub Katsu.
go toward 39. Okay, let me see what happens at 39. Man, the game is really fucking busted wide open right now with this new glitch. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, maybe I'll learn to speedrun this. I don't need to get, like, sub-50s. I could do long speed runs. That looks cool. And it really doesn't seem hard to set up. Have you seen New Vegas speed runs? Of course I have. Thanks to the Bitsukatsuki. You ever heard of impossible creatures? Mm hmm. I'm familiar. You ever played Terraria? Yeah, I just didn't really like it that much. No, I might play some Battlebit later. I haven't played Battlebit in like two weeks now. Is Battlebit good? It is good. Thanks for your sub carpet. And zinc. And the bits Akazino. Mm hmm. I'll, let you, I'll be watching Bleach. Thanks, Resub Reptile. PS2, GameCube, or OG Xbox? For me, it was OG Xbox. That's where I played most of my shit. Because it had Xbox Live, which blew my mind. So I played so much shit on Xbox Live. Games that you probably never heard of, had no idea, even had multiplayer. Like 007 uh, Rogue Agent, was that what it was called? I think it was Rogue Agent. Yeah. I played the shit out of this online. Thanks, you said Paradaxis, Relapse, Kato, Aether, and Alzina. Only a little bit further from the last time remains after the Icon fight. Thanks, Tier 1 Trey. SOCOM online multiplayer on PS2 still goaded. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I remember that as well. That even came with your own little tactical headset to use. That shit was so cute. 
But then OG Xbox had its own almost counterpart with Ghost Recon 2. God, this game was fucking fun. The multiplayer on this was so busted. This was one of those games that made the mistake of having set spawn points, so you could just spawn camp and insta-kill people every single time as long as you just push them back once. And it had great glitches. Whew. Back when FPS games were creative. Yeah. Man, this guy's aim is trash. Jesus Christ, man. Gotta, gotta brush that up. He's a tier one. S Sue? Check the Glover speedrun. Oh, I know the Glover speedrun. Glover speedrun's pretty good. I wonder if they still have the glitch showcases. Ultimate sniper mode. Hey, I, I don't remember this one. A prone slide? It's pretty cool. It's a shame that game kind of faded from everyone's memory. Everyone kind of remembers um, Graw instead now. Thanks, Resub Geo. And Bindi. No, I'm still going to speedrun Gollum. I, I am absolutely going to speedrun it. Thanks, the resub guard. I Am Jesus came out. The full game. Might play it. Not tonight, though. Thanks for the resub. Huh? And Geo. Bits of lettuce. You plan on doing more VR gaming? If something ever comes out worthwhile. They're all just like casual, quick arcade games that you play for like two hours and then you've had your fun. But if anything comes out that's like cool. Sure. Is the reset bless? Ever play Conquer Live and Reloaded? Yep. That also had Xbox Live multiplayer. It was pretty fun. Oh, look. It looks like it's still available to play, too, because they didn't have dedicated servers. It was peer-to-peer. -peer. Everything back then used peer-to-peer. -peer. You could probably still do old golden... Uh, not golden eye. Rogue agent lobbies if you wanted. Makes the bits nuts.
Conquerors so pog. It is. And this game was really fun. The multiplayer was great. There was also another multiplayer game back in the day that I'm sure no one ever played. It was Spy vs. Spy. I played so many fucking wacky Xbox Live games. And they were great. They were so creative. You ever played Small Arms for Xbox 360? Sounds familiar, but I don't- I'm not sure. Where's the game pass of this game? Yeah, I know, for real. Thanks, Resub Faded. You ever played Bionic Commando? Uh, which one? For the 360? Yeah. The older ones, no. Thanks for some Mikey. Can you play Conquer on the 360? Good question, I have no idea. What was the game called where you were the Sauron warlord character and had tons of minions? Talking about Lord of the Rings Conquest on the 360? Is this what you're thinking of? Oh, not not this. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Thanks for your subrust in the prime base. Oh, you're thinking of Overlord. Gotcha. So not actually Sauron, just a guy who looks like him. Oh, look at that end. He's got a guy. He's got a guy. In. Oh, he's throwing him. Oh, oh my word. He just hit the shield of that mage. Such a pounding was worth the sacrifice. Thanks for your subrust. <laughs> you can say that again. Lord of the Ring Conquest was so fun. It was alright. It was fine. Whew. This was the Battlefront like game? Yeah, kinda. I don't remember him having a gun, but yeah. Thanks, you said DJ. Quick text message. Time Splitter's Future Perfect. Ooh, that was pretty good. Thanks for you, Sub Kirby. Is Shadow of War worth the playthrough? Yeah, it holds up well. You'll like it. You on threads yet? Nope. Thanks for you, Sub Mouse. You gonna watch my adventures with Superman? Is this the thing people were criticizing the costume change or whatever? On Twitter? Oh yeah it is. 
So was it good? Came out already. Was it any good? Solid premiere. That's nice. Thanks, he reset the ammo. Seems more like a kid's show than an adult show. Well, yeah, that's the vibe of the trailer, too, man. Doesn't mean that it's, like, bad. You can still like it as an adult. Thanks, he resub all gritty. You don't have to feel shameful. It's on Adult Swim. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's for adults, though. I, I, I think that's long since past. Adult Swim is like Cartoon Network's last bastion of relevancy. So they kind of push anything like of note onto Adult Swim. Is it Tier 1? Dr. Love? Just wait till they find a way to air Teen Titans Go on Adult Swim. That'll be pretty cool. <clears throat> Neopets The Darkest Fair. Speed run. Let me take a peek. Is it a cool speed run? Oh, Darkest Fairy. Oh, is this an out of bounds glitch already? Okay. Okay, seems optimized. Oh my god, this is like the whole speed run. Oh, there we go. I'm close. Thanks, the resub, Lee Crow. Congratulations, then, to Sony on your totally legitimate third place. Wow, this is, a, this is just a lot of running and nothing else. There we go. Alright. This seems very optimized, okay, though. Pretty... Oops. I missed the space bar. <laughs> Oopsie. My own Interesting. I only played a little Neopets, that's all. I, I was never big into it. Same with Club Penguin, I never got really big into either one of those. A Plague Seeker game. Maybe eventually. That'd be cool.
Habbo Hotel I did play a decent bit of, but only because of, like, the pool closed due to AIDS kind of shit. Those making, like, cultural shock waves had me checking out Habbo Hotel a bit. So I played a little Habbo Hotel for that. Like, seeing what kind of chaos ensued in that game. There's legit scam rings going on in there. Oh, I know. I know. So a whole documentary on them. Have you been watching Secret Invasion? It's actually really good. I think it has some of the best writing in all of Marvel TV shows. I have not been watching Secret Invasion. I feel like most people haven't. Which is a shame to hear that it's actually good, because it's coming at the worst time for superhero shit. There's the Prime Lando and the resub Dan. Thanks the resub Wes. I think we looked at those before, Method. I'll double check, but I think we've watched Pop Tropica speedrun. Oh. You made a whole video on it. Thanks, the reset warm. So this is just hold, right? Oh, wow. Actual tech? Nice. Too <laughs> cool. <laughs> Probably not, Jay, because then it gets muted. Thanks, Resub Cammy. You get to try Rogue Trader when it comes out. What's Rogue Trader? Another Warhammer 40k game. Man, I feel like there's Warhammer Daring games coming out the wazoo. Who benefit from a unique style of freedom, normally unheard of in the Imperium, with means to decide the fate of entire regions of space. Little can stop them in their pursuit. What kind of game is it? Just like a tactics game? All of them are ready to follow you it is a tactics on the battlefield. Game. Enemies of humanity of all storm ruinous. Probably not. The only tactics game I like is XCOM. That's really about it. Thanks, Reese some Catman. Aren't they coming out with a Space Marine game also? Yes, Space Marine 2. Thanks to Prime Boof. It's a CRPG, not tactics. Ah. The old guy who reviewed... Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't remember his name, but I know who you're talking about. I saw uh, Pyro made a video on him.
Eminem just released a diss track about the airplane lady that said dude wasn't real. Why? That seems like such a weird thing to make a diss track about. I can't tell if you're memeing. It definitely sounds like a meme. And I googled it anyway like an idiot. Thanks, Yurisa Bongo. It's probably AI. Yeah. Probably. Thanks, the resub fetus. Yeah, Toxic Gossip Train is so fucking catchy. She she actually made a, a hit song on her hands. That shit is actually very catchy. A great hook. <clears throat> so now people will never forget about all the grooming and all that shit because she made such a great song to commemorate it. Thanks, the resub money. She also did blackface. You talking about Colleen? Yeah. She she's been having a rough go of it. They're unearthing a lot of absolute trash from her. Thanks you some Callie. Have you seen? Oh, the, yeah, I saw the, the Gangnam Style one she did as well. Yep. It's been a rough week for Colleen, that's for sure. Thanks to the Bits Panda. Are you ever going to try any Rocket League yourself anytime soon? I've streamed quite a bit of Rocket League. I'm just not very good. Unfortunately. I'm just kind of ass. What do you think about Victor's first basketball game? Did he play? I, I didn't think the game was anytime soon. The only thing I saw about Victor recently is the bit, the Britney Spears stuff. Oh yeah, he started his first summer league game. Nine points, eight rebounds, five blocks. I mean, that sounds fine for a pro league game, or summer league game. He played 27 minutes. Ooh! This is a bit yucky. 
two for 13 from the field and one of six from three. Eek. And he got dunked on. Oh, no. He got dunked on? Thanks, you said with Mir. Well, the raw stats themselves aren't bad for a summer league game. Like, dropping 9, 8, 5, I mean, that's not horrible. It's not great for your number one overall draft pick. But when you look at the stats, it's not like he was just, you know, playing low amounts of minutes or not taking many shots. Dude, <laughs> dude went 2 of 13 from the field. That's yucky. Thanks for some cultivation. He was missing wide open dunks and layups. Oh goodness. Oh goodness me. Another reverse kind of got his steps off. Yeah. Is this where he gets dunked on? No. I'm trying to see where he gets dunked on. Thanks, the resub gungu. At least he didn't get hurt. So that's good. Thanks, you said Benny. He missed the layups at seven feet three inches. Yeah, he must have been super fucking nervous. About something. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I just saw him get dunked on. Yikes. Tough. Makes it tier one bouncy. Britney cursed him. <laughs> yeah. Britney Spears put the hex on him. Like the Space Jam basketball. Britney Stans are sharing his lowlights on Twitter. Oh, it's rough. Now he's made an enemy out of the Britney Stans, and he didn't even do anything. His only crime was going to eat at a restaurant. I think Wimby going to be average at best. The expectations on him are too high. I think he'll probably be above average, but I don't think he's going to be like the superstar prodigy a lot of people have hyped him up to be. Plus, I think he's going to get injured. That's my prediction. Do you think Netflix Witcher can survive without Cavill? No. I'm not watching it. So I don't even know if season, season three is any good, but it just seems like a fucking mess. They've already announced Henry's not coming back, so feels worthless. Things the resub Feta and Tyrannosaurus. You can't just recast him. That never works. Sub soul. I 
It makes the resub flack. Kiki Palmer and her boyfriend have split up. <laughs> oh no. Didn't see that coming. Thanks, are you some slimy? The Kiki Palmer situation is the Usher thing. She got, like, a serenaded by Usher while she was wearing really revealing clothing. And her boyfriend went on Twitter and he's like, What are you doing? You're a mother. Outrageous. And then that caused a whole storm online. You gonna play My Friendly Neighborhood? Never heard of it. It's a Muppets FPS horror shooter. Uh, one of those gimmicks. I'll take a peek. Things resub. Phonyx and the bits wolf. Never heard of it. The last job of the day is always the worst. Raise the curtain. Bring up the lights. The neighborhood is coming to town. Hey, stay back. Looks like some real effort went into the game, though. That's nice. Yeah, this doesn't even look horrible. I thought it'd just be like a really lazy, shitty mascot horror gimmick game, but this looks like they actually tried. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. Things are some mushroom and Deegan and Boku. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. Maybe I'll give that a whirl. Saw so on Twitter, Camus. Is the resub lover? You seen the new Squidward game? Nah, can't say I have. Is the gift sub Zilla? In Mars. Uh, 
Have you listened to the little Uzi song with Bring Me the Horizon? Yeah. It's pretty good. Wasn't bad. He's a resub sailor in crates. Yeah, all the time, sailor. Have you heard the new Demonic album? No. The Nail Salon Robbery is fantastic. All right, I'll check it out. Nail Salon Robbery doesn't go as planned. A brazen robbery attempt caught on camera. Tonight, Atlanta police are looking for a man who burst into a business <laughs> looking for cash, but he didn't get the reaction he was looking for. Fox News Denise wow. walks us through surveillance video of the bizarre attempted crime. All right, then. It happened at this nail salon Monday. There were plenty of people inside at the time. Despite a man yelling at them to give him money, no one handed over any cash. Everybody get up! Give me all your money! A man storms into the nail first <laughs> on Oh, I see what he I see what he tried here. So this is like one of those like polite criminals where he's like, I don't want to bring a gun. That's too far. So I'll I'll pretend like there might be a gun in this in this bag and that'll be enough and no one's biting they are not taking the bait at all <laughs> they're just sitting here fucking stone-faced not budging at all salon on Piedmont orders employees and customers to get on the ground and demands they hand over their cash she's still just eating she's just hanging out his intimidation tactics don't seem to work. In fact, no one pays him much attention at all. Oh my god. The woman did stand up and raise her hands. The thief snatched her phone and she walked out the door. Then he continues to scream. When no one else moves, he turns and walks out the door. I drive all the way in. To come get uh, mission failed, unfortunately. Was a regular here. She says the owner was a you can't, you can't fault him for the attempt. To keep his customers calm. You know, they come first. So that's his reaction, you know, to calm everybody down, keep everybody relaxed. Adair Martin says he's not sure he would have been so calm. Hell, they just let him scream and go around and that's it. You gotta be safe, too. If the guy say gets on the floor, get on the floor. Molly Jones works next door. She says she would not have taken him seriously. <laughs> Damn, this whole rose is full of fucking hard warriors. It looks like a joke. Atlanta police say every situation is different, but in most cases, okay then. Okay then. With demands for your valuables, because you can't be sure how far a robber may be willing to go. Everyone is just thankful no one was hurt. I'm glad no nothing serious. He didn't even bother putting on a disguise either. Colored sedan. Police are looking for any information about this guy. Still got the girl's phone though. Crime stop. Yeah, so I remember reading about this a few years ago. I don't know how true it is or if it's even accurate anymore. But I read stealing phones is like completely fucking worthless because no one's buying stolen phones anymore. I don't know how true that is though. I read that a few years back, but I heard that that's like one of the worst things you can steal if you're trying to make money off it. Thanks to Tier 1 Joe and the Prime Rat and the recent booty. Why steal something with a fucking tracker in it? Good point, but I don't think that's why. I can't. It's been too long now. I don't remember exactly why. But apparently it's just not... A, a worthwhile thing to steal because you can't actually sell it off anywhere. There's Prime Sterling and signed.
Phones are locked at a hardware level now. Is that why? Is the prime sticks? Thoughts on Drake dating my sister. Hey, congratulations to you and your whole family. Amazing work. Thoughts on mullet, mullet, Mad Jack, and Mouse gameplay? Can't say I've ever heard of that. I'll look up Augury. This? I can't quite tell what this is. Mm. I can't make heads or tails of what's going on there. Thanks a bit, George. Just got here, you see all the stuff with the Vegas sphere? Yeah, this shit is so cool. <laughs> I think it's really awesome. I know a lot of people are mad about it because it's like super expensive and I get it. But come on. Fucking come on, that's awesome. And it's like a whole concert venue, right? It's not just this. But even if it was just this, it's fucking beautiful anyway. Like, I never really buy into that whole pretentious, like, nonsense from the art world. But I think they're 100% right when they call this living architecture. This is, like, legitimately a breathing art piece. It's fully programmable. And they can make anything out of it. And it looks so good. Like, it even does, like, texture simulation like this really well. Hold on, let me show you a really... This one. This one's great. God, I love that. Just wait until someone hacks it and plays some not suitable for work shit. Yeah, true. And that'll be hype too. Thanks to Prime J Wolf and the Resub Boss. IRL.